If you're like thinking about, hey, I'm gonna become a heavy Photoshop user, try to like remember at least one or two new keyboard shortcuts a week, and you'll be surprised at how quickly they just all stack up in your mind. If you wanna get faster in Photoshop, keyboard shortcuts are the best way to do that. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Today, we're gonna show you one of my favorite tricks in Photoshop, and that's making your own keyboard shortcuts. There are all kinds of things that I do all the time that don't have keyboard shortcuts set up in Photoshop, like creating a layer mask, one of the core functionalities. So let's just show you a real quick example of some where you might want a layer mask, and we'll show you how to create it. So here's our sample image. You guys can actually download the sample image on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. Now let's just say, I'm gonna create a new layer here and just say, I wanna get rid of this little reflection in our subject sunglasses. So I'm just gonna be for the brush tool, then hold Alt or Option, and then I'm just gonna paint in with a large soft edge brush. And there we go. Basically, I'm just painting right over top of that mug. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Now, when you wanna remove an object like this, uh, you just wanna use like a large soft edge brush because it helps everything kind of blend together really easily. It's a way where you can kind of make realistic highlights and shadows and transitions and things like that. So you can see I'm basically painting right over top of this reflection area. Now, in this case, I'm not super concerned of the fact that, uh, well, <laughs> for instance, it goes right over top of some of these areas, like the glasses and things like that, because I know I'm gonna be creating a layer mask. So while you can just go right over here and click on this little icon to create your layer mask, I wind up creating layer masks hundreds of times sometimes in an edit. So let's go ahead and show you how to create a keyboard shortcut for that and literally anything else. So we're just gonna go to edit and we're gonna go down to keyboard shortcuts right here on the very bottom. So keyboard shortcuts. And then when we're on our keyboard shortcuts, we just wanna go to our menu. So the menus here, right in this line here, kind of mimic the menus on the very top. So let's create one for layer mask. So we're gonna go to the layer and then we're just gonna scroll all the way down here until we see layer mask and then reveal all. Now I've already got one, but let's just go ahead and delete it. So this is, we're just gonna pretend like uh, I never made one and this is how yours is gonna look. So a layer mask, you can make a reveal all layer mask, which is a white layer mask, making everything visible. Or you can make a hide all layer mask, which creates a black layer mask. Pretty cool, right? So to create your keyboard shortcut, it's incredibly easy to do. Just click over here where you see the shortcut and then simply just hold down the icons you want for your keyboard shortcut. I like to put, uh, I'm on a Mac, so I use like Shift, Option, and Command, uh, and then hit a letter on the keyboard. The reason I do all three of those is because most of those aren't already taken up by the program. Like if you hit Control or Command U, chances are that's gonna be taken by something that's gonna be for hue saturation, for instance, okay? So by holding Shift, Option, and Command and hitting a letter, I find usually they're open. So I'm gonna hit M for mask. It's really easy for me to remember. By the way, you can change any keyboard shortcut like this as well. So I'm gonna hit shift, option, command, M. There we go. And you can see it fills it in right there and I'm gonna hit enter. Now, sometimes if like if you wanna do something, it might encounter a little conflict. Let's try to do that for uh, hide all. I'm just gonna hit controller command U and look what it's gonna say. It's gonna say, hey, controller command U is already in use for just what we said earlier, hue saturation. So I can say accept this and go to the conflict, which basically will apply this keyboard shortcut to the layer mask, hide all right now, and then it'll take me to the other one, or I can just hit undo. So that's actually really nice that it gives you a warning to say like, hey, this is already in use, no go. Well, we're just gonna hit undo in this case, and I'm just gonna use option shift command M. A few of the ones that I use all the time, it's like a Gaussian blur, because how often are we using Gaussian blur in Photoshop? I don't know about you, but I use it all the time. So we'll just go to filter, and then we'll scroll down to where we see our blur right here, and then we have Gaussian blur. You can see I did option shift command G for my Gaussian blur. And for special sharpening things, I do a lot of high pass. So right down here, I've got my own high pass custom keyboard shortcut as well. Option, option shift command H for a high pass. You can use whatever keyboard shortcuts you want, but this is how you make it and it's super awesome. So let's just hit okay. And now I wanna create a layer mask here. So without pressing, you know, trying to go and find all the things, I just hit option shift command M. Look at that, I've got my layer mask and we're good to go. So uh, it doesn't seem like, okay, in a one-off use, you're like, okay, well that didn't save that much time, 
But over the course of, you know, like many, many, many layer masks, that sort of thing is going to save you a lot of time. So now let's go ahead and see the before and after, and I can do this with a keyboard shortcut too. I'll give you that hint in just a second, but I can make my layer visible and invisible real quickly with a keyboard shortcut. That allows me to focus on the effect that I've actually done to see, hey, is it a good effect? And I don't have to like try to fumble around with the keys. So that one is one of my favorites. We'll just go to, again to edit and then down to keyboard shortcuts. And we're gonna go to layer and then we're gonna go scroll way, 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 way down so we see hide layers. You can see it right here, hide layers. And I've got that set to option shift command V for visible, okay? So when I wanna make a layer visible and invisible, this works on groups too. I just hit that keyboard shortcut and I can make it visible or invisible. I'm just gonna create a new layer and then clip that layer. And I'm gonna clip it with option command G, choose a lighter color, and then maybe just add a little bit of highlight here on the glasses and then lower the opacity of that, make it look a little bit more realistic. Here we go, I'm gonna hit Shift, click on those layers, Controller Command G, Shift Option Command V for visible. There we go, so I can see the before and after. And there we go, and then here, if again, I wanted to add a layer mask on this, I could hit Shift Option Command M for my layer mask on this, <laughs> knocking stuff over here. Uh, and then if I wanted to, I could, you know, obviously like start to fade that in. So I get kind of like a little bit of, a little bit of the reflection, but a little bit not. I'm gonna hit undo it a couple times because I'm gonna leave it how it was, but all these little tasks that you're doing over and over again, highly recommend putting them as keyboard shortcut. It's gonna make your life so much faster in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna get a free tutorial from us every single week, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you have any other questions or anything you'd like to see here on Flurn, let us know in a comment down below. Thanks again, I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.